Welcome. In this video, I'm going to get you all started on this problem here. So the Sierpinski carpet is constructed by removing the center one ninth of a side of square one. So, excuse me, below is a figure showing a square of side one unit that's here with nothing removed than the first three steps of the construction. So here we've removed the center one ninth. Here we've removed, we've left this bigger, uh, the center one ninth removed and then one ninth of each of these. And then again, the center one, the one ninth of each of these eight remaining ones, and then each of these eight remaining ones has eight more um, center ninths taken out of it. So what is the area of this first one? Well, this is one unit here. So all of these are one unit. So the area here is one unit squared. Okay, so then what about here? Well, if we draw a little tic-tac-toe grid, if you notice, this is one third and this is one third. So what is the area of this middle piece we took out? Well, it's one ninth. So that means the area here is one minus one ninth. Well, that's cool. So let's keep going. Oh, I'm missing that line right there. Perfect. Now, what about this area here? Well, now I have my original one minus one ninth, we still remove that, but then let's draw another little tic-tac-toe grid. So here's our original tic-tac-toe grid, and now I'm gonna add, and I'll focus on this one here. Whoa, this is getting a little intense, right? So I have one, two, three, one, two, three, but that's of a bigger, there should be three and three here and three and three here. So this is a side length here of one over nine, and this is a side length here of one over nine. So this one has an area of one over nine squared. So this little square has an area of one over nine squared. And how many of them? There are eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means we took out eight times one over nine squared. And then here, hopefully by now you're seeing a pattern because now for each of these eight squares, we're gonna take out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more little squares. So hopefully that helps you see what to do on the next step. And then this is where your series comes in because what you end up with is one minus one over nine plus eight times one over nine squared plus, and I'll leave the rest of this. So I didn't actually do square three for you. Um, please figure that one out. And then you'll end up with something of the form one minus the sum from n equals one to infinity of your series. And that's a purposely a squiggly line so that you can figure out the rest of that. Hopefully this really helps you out in finishing up this problem.